what's going on guys so what a what a crazy crazy uh start to the morning session here so um you know we had a little bit of a gap down and actually if i can go and show you guys exactly what i was looking at this morning so if we kind of look at the weekly time frame here on the triple q's right which is the nasdaq 100 etf we got this gap down into this level that i was calling out yesterday this 150 day simple moving average so that price was sitting right around that 288. We actually got a little bit below that, I think 286. Um, and then we found a little bit of support. So what I started to tell the guys in the Discord, you know, if we can hold this level now and start to take out the first hours candles high, then potentially there is a little bit of an opportunity to scalp long. Now we do need to be careful. Obviously this is a downward trend and this is a bear market. So with that being taken into account, we have to understand that if the move on any sort of dead cat rally bounce starts to work in our favor, we need to absolutely take profits along the way. So you know, I'll get to where we're at in just a second, but we kind of have started to roll over um, yet again, and I'll show you exactly where. So the video that we're going to be doing is on NVIDIA today. So if we kind of look at NVIDIA where we're at in the middle of no man's land on the weekly time frame, NVIDIA does look like it has room to 140, guys, uh, just to kind of keep that into perspective here. So if we do pull up the hourly time frame here, we can see I had these, these lows from the initial washout here at 156.48 kind of marked out. And then when we did catch, we had a very strong and aggressive rally. So on a stock like NVIDIA, what would you be looking for? You would be looking to get back into a channel range here, which is a uh, linear regression channel 50. We wanna get back over some of the recent uh, moving averages, the five, 10, and 20. As soon as we get the close back over the 20 moving average, we have to understand that we do have supply here at the 50 as well as the 200, but this is a good area of opportunity to kind of put on some risk here. And if we do just close back under the 20, just kind of get out of that trade. This trade on the video went from 161 all the way to a high of 167. Guys, this is a fantastic move. If you're looking for more than six, seven points on a dead cat bounce in a down market, in a bear market, we've got some problems. You know, I would never recommend anyone to try to sit here and catch the whole move. If you did, you, you know, you're just cut from a different cloth. I would get in here. I would try to get my two or three points, you know, as much as I can try to stretch it here uh, and then get out of the trade. But if we can look at where we stopped at, we stopped at the 200 on the five minute time frame. immediately rolled over, lost the 20. And now we came all the way back down to the linear regression, which was the initial area that I said we needed to get back over on the initial flush. If we just kind of look at the hourly time frame here, I want to show you guys something very, very important. Always remember this in a bear market. If you get an aggressive rally and that aggressive rally seems like, you know, that's the bottom. Things are going to go back up to the two. You know, things are going to make uh, continued moves higher. You need to take a look at the hourly time frame. If your rallies come on one candle, on one candle, this is never good. Anytime we come on a one hour candle here, look for the next area of supply, which is the 20 day moving average on the one hour time frame. It got rejected literally perfect to a T. Yes, it tried to crack above it, but never really reclaimed that level going into the 50 day moving average and literally gave everything back on one hour's candle here. Um, and, and, and like, we're down here at the bottom. So what we're looking at now is, are we looking to try to play NVIDIA long? Absolutely not. NVIDIA would need to get all the way back over the day's highs of around 167. And from 167.88, it only has room to about 170. So that's a micro scalp there trying to get that long. But you need to stay patient on that. What we would be looking for now is some sort of, you know, little relief bounce here back into these supplies. We could get rejected at 161, 162, and any rollover through the day's lows of 156.50 is an absolute short position for that continued move down. And like I said, on that weekly time frame on the video, we have room down to 140. Guys, I hope this video helps. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also join the Discord, guys. Uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff going on in the Discord. I'll catch you guys all later.